All right, this is Cat's. This is Cat's first electric drive tractor. One of the first electric drive tractors in the industry. One of the things you'll see here is that um, one of the redesigns on this tractor is everything is on a center line of sight to increase visibility. You've got the hydraulic tube, you've got the exhaust, you've got the center mount of post for the cab right there in the middle, which increases sight line. When I say electric drive tractor, no longer are you running power through torque converters in a, tra in a transmission per se. You now are using the motor to power an electric generator. The electric generator is what powers a propulsion module, which is put, which is put power to the, to the sprockets in the back. This engine will utilize 10 to 30 percent less fuel than a traditional tractor. And because of the fact that it's an electric drive tractor, it is also a beltless tractor. So things such as the water pump and the air conditioner are all run off of DC electricity, which increases the serviceability. So this, this electric propulsion module, because this is once again an electric drive tractor, will actually have 50 percent more life than a traditional tractor because the because no transmission and torque converter. The tractor also runs, the reason we get fuel economy out of this, which really does make this more of a green tractor, is because this tractor runs at a single RPM, around 1200 to 1500 RPM lower than a traditional D7R. So by running the tractor to lower RPM and at a constant RPM, that's how you get your fuel savings. Because you're powering now a generator. The tractor we convert two forms of electricity with it. The generator creates AC electricity, which goes into a power inverter. And from there, we create DC electricity to run the air conditioner, water pump, et cetera, et cetera. And then the propulsion module, which drives those sprockets, uses AC. The other, the other advantage of this tractor, which, which you see, is you don't have the traditional torque spikes and torque curves with the transmission, where it loops up and it loops down. And you go to first, to second, to third. Because it's an electric powered tractor, you have constant power through the band. The power curve, instead of looping like an M, or it actually looks more like a hockey stick. It spikes straight up and moves forward in a band. So what that does is that, that gives you more torque whenever you need it. The other advantage of this tractor is we've made the hydraulics much more efficient. We've got one hydraulic pump, but we've actually put the valve stacks at the front and the rear of the tractor. So when you need, when you need to use the ripper, you're just taking ripper from the valve stack in the back, which puts less stress on the pump and, you're use, and it causes fluid to circulate at a, at a lower distance. And the same thing goes for the blade. When you move the blade up and down or when you steer it to the left or to the right, you're just using the front valve stack. Another couple things you'll notice on this tractor, it's got a much larger cab than its predecessor. And if you go inside of the tractor, instead of setting gears to control the speed, all you do is use a thumb dial forward, speed up, back to slow down.